and today this is our second math video and we're super excited last time we did numbers 1 to 100 this time we're doing da 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 shapes yeah um yeah we're really excited to get started yeah and it's a super simple topic and yeah okay so i'll read the first three then e will read the second um three yeah we're only teaching six shapes because there's a lot of more shapes, but I think these are the best shape, shapes for starters. So. Yeah, we could get a little in depth a bit later. So let's get okay. started. So this one, the red one, it's called a circle. So it has no points, like pointy spaces, and it's um, like a big round one. So for example of a circle would be a pizza, right? Yeah, a pizza is a circle shape. So that's a circle, what I just drew. I can draw another one if, yeah, here, I got a circle. A circle, there. Next, this one is a triangle. It has three sides and three points. So, and this one is, the uh, triangle is the orange one, so I'll get my orange out and try and draw a triangle. <laughs> okay. So here is a triangle. Next one is a rectangle. A rectangle has four sides. They're not all equal, but the two sides on each side are equal. And it has four points. So that's a triangle. I can make it yellow. like this so that's a triangle and an example of a triangle would be a book right of a rectangle yeah okay so now we have a square so a square has four points and four sides and all four sides are equal so this is how i would draw a square So you have to make sure when you draw a square that all sides are equal, because then it would be a rectangle. Yeah, they look pretty similar, but they have one small difference. <clears throat> okay, so next we have an oval. A oval, an, an oval is really similar to a circle, but except it's like squished in more than like a perfectly round figure. So this is how an oval looks like. An example of an oval would be an egg. Yeah, so your oval can be this way. It could also be this way. So it doesn't really matter. It just has to be. Yeah, and it could be square. diagonal as well. Yeah, okay. So then we have a rhombus. So if you know what a diamond is, a rhombus is basically more of a math term than diamond. It's, um, it looks like a diamond. So, well, you can call it a diamond. But over here, we're calling it a rhombus. So this is how a rhombus would look. It's. It has four sides and all of them are equal and it also has four points so it's basically more like of a diamond version of a square yeah so it's mostly equal yeah okay so this is our classwork and e will start with the first three then i'll do the last three yeah okay so what we have to do is match the shape, shapes to the correct name. So we have all of our shapes here that we have on the previous page over here, and we have all of them labeled. So basically over here, we have to match them to which shape they are. Okay, so let's start with this one. This one is very familiar. I, we just discussed it. So basically, it's an oval, a squished version, a squished version of a circle. Yeah, it's the shape of an egg. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's make it orange. Okay, so next we have this one. So remember, it has all four sides equal and it has four points and four sides. And so it's the it? shape of a window. Yeah, so what is it? It's a square. Yeah, it's super easy. 
Yeah, remember, you just have to remember a square has all four equal sides and four points and four um, sides, yeah. And then, okay, so we have this one. It's all round. So this is actually the first one that we discussed and A told you guys about it. So it's, so the oval is a squished version of this. So an oval is a squished version of a circle. So this is a circle. Yeah, so this one is the shape of a pizza. Okay. Right? Yep. Okay, next, my turn. So you told you this shape, this specific shape is the, it's also known as a diamond and it's also, yeah, it has, it's like a squished version, like a, like a tilted version of a square. So this is called a rhombus. Let me just get my stick. We're trying to match the colors here. <laughs> okay, so next one is the shape of a slice of pizza. And it has three sides. So it also starts with the T. So it's a triangle. Yeah, let me just get my orange. Let me connect it there. And last one, it has four sides, but they're not equal. And it's the shape of a door, but this one is sideways. So you could say it's a book. So it's a, and it's the last one. So it's a rectangle. Uh, let me try and connect it. <laughs> okay, yeah, got it. Okay, so this is the classwork. It was actually really easy. Okay, so let's go to your homework sheet now. Okay, so this is the homework. It's just four questions and it's three now because we're gonna give an example. Yeah, so um, it's really easy and it's actually kind of fun. Yeah, it's not too hard. It's not too easy. It's just right, but it's actually super easy. So let's uh, let E explain the first one. Okay, so basically what you have to do is you have to put a check mark or just color it in, or you can do whatever you want, but you have to, in this box, you have to mark it any way you want to the correct things, to the correct instruction. So it says mark the rhombus. So we have to find the rhombus slash diamond and then um, fill in that small square at the top. So in this case, let's see. So this, it can't be, it's a square. This, it can't be, it's a circle. This one looks like a diamond and it, and it should be a rhombus. So let's put a stamp there. For the rectangle and the square, like the la number three and four, we don't have boxes, so you can circle it. Or you can color the box or something. Yeah. So you could just put a check mark like this, or you could put um, you could put anything you want. You could put an X like this if you want. You could put anything you want. Yeah. So that's your homework. It's super easy. So now let's move on to our to-do list. Oh, actually, we have to check last week's homework. I forgot. Oh yeah, last week's homework. It was this sheet. So yeah. I hope you guys have done this. Um, it's okay if you didn't, because if you watch this, you can obviously learn and check the answers. So if you did it, you could get it out and um, let's check the answers right now. Yeah. So A and I will take some turns. Okay, so the first one, last week we explained it. It was 14. Yeah. And so let's write 14 down. Okay, so the next one, number two, E can count it for us. Yeah, so we have hearts, oh sorry, we have apples, and basically let's just count them. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24. So that means we have 24 apples. Let's write that. Yeah. Now I'll do the next one. It's the hearts. So just give me a second. So there's one. Uh, let me just get my pencil. Okay. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we have thirteen hearts. Okay. Next one, E. Yeah, okay. This so, one is a lot, but it's actually super easy. Yeah, so let's just count this. So I won't be using any stamps because these are really thin. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. So yeah, that was a lot of sticks, but it was super easy, right? E? Yeah, it was really easy. So that means we have 82 sticks. Oh, sorry, sticks. Okay. Next, this one looks like a lot, but it's actually super easy. Okay, so I can use arrow, I mean like stars because this is a bit bigger. So let's start. One. Uh, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 
39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. So there are 70 smileys. Okay. 70 smileys. Okay. Okay, guys. So you can uh, go ahead and check if you got everything correct. Um, or if you got or found any mistakes, then you could quickly correct it. And um, if you have any question, if you don't understand, if you did anything wrong or something, then you can um, comment down below if you have any. Yeah, comment down below how many correct you got. And tell, tell us if you need any help understanding your mistakes. Yeah, okay, so now let's go to today's to-do list. Okay, guys, so this is our to-do list. E, you can read it. Okay, so today's to-do list is do the homework sheet and write the correct shape. So that's all, all we have on today's to-do list. So we're hoping to have, so we're hoping to have this for our to-do list. Um, so yeah, so that's our to-do list. Okay, guys, so that's it for today's video. And um, comment down comment below. Comment down below if you need any help, and we'll try to respond as soon as possible. Yep, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified every time we post a new video. And don't forget to comment down below your homework marks so we can help you out. Yeah. Bye. Bye. It's A and E. And this is our channel. Our channel is an educational one. We post math, science, language, and social studies videos. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get to get notified every time we post a new video. Bye. Bye.